Alrighty, what is going on guys, we're here for episode number 3 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. In today's episode, we're going to be going on, getting two encounters, and buying a Pokemon because we are so down horrendous. If you guys have not seen the last episode, go watch it because it was a special one, so I'll give you a second to go do that. Alright, now that we're back, I'm going to let you guys know that we're going to give the quickest team recap in team history. We have Levi, our Weeping Bell, who was our starter, he's brave natured. Magma Armor, Rock and Vinyl Whip, Growth, Wrap, and Sleep Powder. As you can see, this is the only Pokemon we have because we lost everyone else last video, which means I need to do something. And even though I didn't want to do it originally, we need to evolve Levi because Homeboy is our only Pokemon. And what that means is that we need him not to die. So we're going to start off today's episode by evolving into a Victory Bell here. Uh, something that I didn't want to do so early, but I feel like it is honestly our only option we need the stat boosts. Hopefully it's got a decent ability that's not very bad for us. And, uh, yeah, we just need something to help us out here because we are extremely down, down bad. So now let's go give an actual team recap. We have Levi the Victory Bell, Brave Natured. It's got Cloud9, which uh, negates weather effects, which isn't bad. And then it's got the same moves, obviously. But you guys could see the stat differential there. Let's just hope that we can get out of here without dying. That's all that I hope and all that I pray for. We have five potions to get us through these three battles. Something that should be able to be done, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's not. Okay, first guy's got a slacking. This is scary because slacking gets an ability called Truant, but because abilities are randomized, it means he doesn't have Truant, which means it's basically just a legendary Pokemon. Because slacking's moves, uh, it's... Um, stats are like a legendary's it's just that he has a bad ability so I mean it's pretty cool having a, a weeping bell you know I mean a victory bell like that's nice what's not nice is that we're probably gonna lose the lock to this episode if we don't get out of here we just need to hope that we don't play any flying types any fire types or any poison types oh no I hate playing slackings because they do this crap you know that's fine. Fine Whip should almost kill. Slack off again. Nice. We're gonna get into a stall battle here, bro. I could stay here all day if you just want to keep slack. Uh, if you just want to keep slacking off, I'm gonna put it to sleep. Two for two on the sleep powders, though. That's nice. Mm. Alrighty. We should knock him out this turn. If not this turn, the next turn. Hopefully he doesn't wake up and slack off. Nice. That's what we like to see. No damage taken. We don't even have to use any potions. We have no money, though, so we're going to have to battle some trainers. And then when we get to the the place where we could actually catch the Pokemon, we need to hope and pray that it is a Pokemon that is weak enough to catch, but good enough to help the team. Um, we're going to put this thing to sleep, and then we're probably going to have to use Rap because this is a part flying type, which is scary because it probably has Peck. And by probably, I mean, I'm pretty sure by level 10, Alparia, Altaria has Peck. Alparia. Mix the two words up. Man, that is no damage. And Vinyl is probably not going to do it as, nearly as much as that because it's resisted. I wish Growth upped my attack because I'm a physical attacker. Unfortunately, it doesn't, though, so we're stuck here wrapping this thing until it dies. Ah, we miss. That's unfortunate. And it wakes up. And puts us to sleep. Fun! This is going to be a stall battle, so we're going to speed it up. Sound good? Sounds good. Astonish? Maybe it doesn't have peck? Growl? <gasps> My attack is falling. We miss sleep powder. It does have peck. We put it to sleep. Okay. We can do this. One turn of sleep down. We wrap. Nice. Still it stays asleep. This is what we like to see. We wrap again. It's still asleep. Alright, we should be able to kill this turn. Next turn. Oh, well, it wakes up. Well, at least he didn't use Sing, right? It could have been worse. Alright, we kill the Altaria. Thankfully, we kill the Altaria. We're up to level 17. What else we got? A core fish. Finally, a with Just absolutely obliterating. Is mine? We good? We good? Check, 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 check. Alright, we're good. I thought I looked over to my left and I thought my thing was crashing. I'm like paranoid, you know, I went through like a rough patch there where it was like crashing almost, oh my goodness. 
Sorry about that. But it was like crashing like almost every day. That's not what I wanted to do. You guys could probably guess. Slack off. Level 9's though. We could deal with this. We're, we're 8 levels above you. Slack off is not as good as slacking. I'll tell you that much. Wait, is that slacking? Yes, slacking, sloking. You know, you get it mixed up sometimes. Alright, well... I guess that was beneficial to go there. We wrote a level 18. Man, we're gonna be so overleveled. Which we were aware of. We probably we knew this was probably gonna happen, right? So what happens when you have one Pokemon. But oh well, what are you gonna do about it? Boom 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 boom. Alright. Let's walk up in here. Heal our one Pokemon, our one singular Pokemon. Man, I am hungry, I'll tell you what. I'm running out of food to eat, though. Need to go buy some. Down bad, right? Alright, let's. we got at least two more trainers. I think we should be able to get out of here with just battling two. I think we got to battle this dude. And then the one right before we leave. I think those are the last two. I think. I'm 99% sure we have to battle this guy, though. Slowking. Speaking of slowking, weren't we just talking about a slowking? Slacking, slowking, slack off. There's like 80 different Pokemon at this point. How are you going to be a level 11 fully evolved and you got Tackle as your best move? I mean, ours is Vine Whip. We need some TMs for uh, Levi here. But. Oh, nice, a Typhlosion, yeah. That's fun. And we missed Sleep Powder. It's probably got Ember. Clear. Dun dun. Is it Ember physical? Because this thing has to have Ember, right? What else? What other early game fire type moves are there besides Ember? None. Literally, like, none of them. Alright, how much does Rap do to you? Not, decent amount. That's a decent amount. Does, the real question is, does Vine Whip do more? You know? We're about to find out. It's worth a shot. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. We'll use Vine Whip then. Oh, nice. It wakes up. Smoke screen. Well, that's fun. Now we just gotta hope and pray that sleep powder hits turn one. Oh, we hit it. Nice. Good job, Levi. Let's go, baby. Levine. We should have named him Levine. Instead of Levi. Nah, that would have been funny, right? Funny guy. Final whip, man. We don't miss. Oh, a crit. Okay. Well, we're so overleveled that even though we're facing Pokemon that are weaker than us, um, we're able to deal with them with ease, which is nice. Don't hate the player, hit the game, you know? It's one of those situations. Um, 176, bro. They're not even giving me enough coin to buy one Pokeball. Oh, we didn't have to battle that guy. It's this guy that we have to battle. Shoot. Okay, well, now we got two more battles until we, until we get out of here. Sorry about that. So now we have to hope and pray that we don't face stuff that can kill us. Stuff like a Pidgey. Like, sure, we're weak to it, but come on, bro, it's a Pidgey. It's level 9. Even if it's got Peck, it ain't doing anything. My stomach is growling, though. I will tell you that. You guys might be able to hear it in this episode. I can feel it moving. It feels like someone's sitting on my stomach. We're running out of Vine Whips. Sooner or later, we're going to be stuck with just rap. What else we got here? Nidorino, Nido Nidorino. Alright. A couple raps should do the trick here. Peck. I forgot Nidorino gets Peck. That's so weird. Because it doesn't have a beak. It has a horn. It should get like horn attack. But Peck, bro? I'm sure he gets horn attack. Just bought by. Just, I don't know, by learning set. I've used a couple Nidorinos. Uh, never have I ever. I don't know if I've used a Nidoking on Nuzlocke before. Not on this channel, anyways. I've used probably used one in like my own personal Nuzlocke and stuff, but a Furret. It's got Drought. Well, that's scary in case it has a Fire type in the back. How many more Vine Whips do we have? We have three Vine Whips. Well, I'm gonna save it just in case we encounter a Pokemon that we actually need to use it against, like a uh, Water type. Ooh, I just cracked my back, my lower back. Felt really good. All I had to do was sit back in my chair and it. 
Why do we miss so much? You think we have hustle with how much we miss? Maybe, maybe it's just the account is cursed, all right? Like B drill couldn't hit a freaking thing to save his life. I still can't get over how bad our first like team was for a gym. Wow, we are missing everything. I know we've been hit with a sand attack, but like, come on, man. All right, there we go. Should we use a potion? Like, that'd be the smart thing to do, right? But we're also so, like, bad for money that I kind of don't want to. Alright, cool. Kill the Furret. The level 9 Furret that we're 10 levels above. What's your last Pokemon? Hopefully not a Fire-type. Ludicolo. Okay. We could deal with this. Should be able to Vine Whip here. Oh, the crit. The critical hit that mattered. Okay. We're up to level 20 already. This is probably um, going to start getting a little too easy over here soon. But you know, hey, that's fine. We're going to run back and heal. And we'll also buy all the Pokeballs we can because... How many can we buy? We could buy two right now. Can we sell something to like be able to buy more? Fifty, fifty. Um. Well, oh wait, what was our TM? Was it something we could sell? No, <laughs> no, it was not. It was hydro pump, which is actually kind of good. By kind of good, I mean it's actually really good. All right, well we're gonna run back heal. I mean, you know, worst comes to worst, we'll just. We could always go... Wait, we need to buy a magic card too. How are we going to do all this when we're so broke? Why are we so broke? That's the question. Like, why are we so hurting for cash? It doesn't really make sense to me. We're going to have to catch the next Pokemon in literally a... In two Pokeballs. There's the grass, guys. Our second Pokemon's right there, possibly. We just have to get through this one trainer who has a Tyranitar, but that's fine because he's a rock type. And a rock type is something that we could deal with. Dude, we're critical hitting critically hitting a lot of vine whips right now. What else you got? What's your last Pokemon? Cloyster is a cool mon, huh? Get off my screen. Okay. We finally get a Pokemon. We have a sleep powder, so we have a way. To affect it, like to damage it, all we need to hope is that it's not a legendary that we cannot catch. $132, it's not even worth going back and buying the second Pokeball. Just please, for the love of God, give me a Mon that I can catch. That's all I ask of you. A decent Mon that I can catch. I'm fine with this. Even though I'm pretty sure that this thing's catch rate is like low as hell. And it's actually gonna it has vital spirit. We can't even put it to sleep. Bro, you gotta be joking me. Oh no. Okay. We're gonna have to wrap this thing and hope that it doesn't kill it. Which it shouldn't. No, it doesn't. How much does this do? Is it gonna kill it? We only got two balls, right? So if we can hit it with another wrap and not kill it, then we will. So wrap after the extra damage does not half. Okay, so we're going to hit it with one more and hope we don't crit. Okay. We should get one chance to catch this. Maybe two. This is actually really good because it's a water type, so we have something to deal with a lot of our weaknesses. Well, one of them fire, right? Please, dude, just give us... I don't think we're going to catch this thing. I knew this thing's catch rate was like super high. It always has been. It always has been. I mean, super low. Like, we can never catch this thing. Please, just stay in this Pokeball. Oh my gosh, thank the Lord. Oh. Hoofed. Alright, we have a second. <laughs> we have a second Pokemon. Um, 
going to name this thing Hope because it is our last hope. <laughs> Um, it's a level 7, which is significantly worse. We know that it ha it's bashful nature. We know that it has vital spirit, which is good. And it's got whirlpool, and that's it. Well, we are going to be battling with this thing. We're going to head back this way. We're going to level up. Um, we're going to do the rest of the trainer battles before we go get our next two encounters. Just because, one, we have no Pokeballs, and two, because we have... Um, no money to buy the magic carp anyway, so there's really no reason for me to go anywhere. Okay, let's um, do these next. Well, we have like three more battles or so. Let's make sure we put Gorbis out in front. Jesus. The struggle is real out here. Alright, we have no one down there. Just making sure. We've not battled this girl yet. So we've one, two, I think three, yeah, three more battles. Because we got this girl, the guy below, and then the girl on the next route over that we have to battle. We're just hoping that we don't fight something that has um, arena trap. I know this thing gets explosion, though, so this is scary. Alright, guys, say goodbye to Corvus. It was fun while she was on the team. And, um, what can I... What do, what do you want me to do? Like, honestly, what do, you, what do you guys want me to do about that? Like, there's nothing I can do. I spoke it into existence. It was, it was here for one turn. One turn. That's it. And, of course, the one Pokemon we run into is Shadow Tag. Like, dude, you can't make this shit up. You cannot make it up. This is the most unfortunate... <laughs> unfortunate Nuzlocke you will ever see on YouTube. I mean, like, wow. It hurts my soul. If we're being completely honest, it hurts my soul. I don't even know what to do. I feel like I'm at a loss. Like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm destined to only have one Pokemon forever and ever and ever. You guys haven't even seen the first episode yet. Like, I'm recording this before the first episode even goes live. I am so tempted to just, you know, restart. No one will ever know. But sometimes getting waxed like this makes for good content. It just has to be a shadow tagging Registeel, huh? It just has to be. Flame body. Whoa. That's actually kind of cool. Too bad I would have lost that as soon as it evolves. Oh, that's a whole bunch of XP that we just lost because we wanted to run into a shadow tagging Registeel. This guy doesn't battle, right? You know, he just tells us we need to take a rest sometime. I'm pretty sure one of these rocks will give us an item, right? Please. One of these guys. Just give me an item that I can grab, please. This one. There's no items, man. Really? There's no items? Okay. I don't even think we have enough to buy... To buy this freaking Magikarp. Which is really annoying. We definitely don't have enough to buy a Magikarp and enough Pokeballs to catch a Pokemon. That is for sure. We literally named this thing Hope. It got sent out into battle once and got exploded on by a shadow tagging Registeel. How much money do we have to our name? Nine hundred dollars. Okay. We could buy the we could buy the Magikarp. Did you just call me lady? There's no way. <laughs> I love Butterfree. I, I think it's one of the coolest Pokemon. But, bro, you can give me something halfway decent. Something that's good past the second gym. We've already had a Beedrill. Butterfree, we don't need. I mean, like, look, Butterfree's dope, right? It's really good. If it doesn't have compound eyes, it's useless. It's quiet nature, bug flying with static. I mean, that's cool and all. But, like, bro. 
bro. Alright, well, let's run back and go buy one Pokeball. Two Pokeballs. And hope that we can catch the... Hope and pray that we can catch the Pokemon on Mount Moon with it. I just wish that we had enough money to get stuff, like, decent, you know? Like, I don't know. It's just really unfortunate. Everything has been unfortunate in this in this series so far. Our Magikarp's a Butterfree. Our first encounter's a Beedrill. We get a Voltorb. We can get a Gorbis that dies to an expl a Shadow Tagging, Exploding. Like, please, make something better up. Can we grab this item without getting out of here? Alright, what's our encounter? Something easy to catch, please. A Barboach. Is Barboach? Barboach does not evolve under a Gorgeous. That's Clamp Pearl. Okay. Well, this is at least something we'll be able to catch, right? At least. I almost killed this thing. Are we going to kill it with the wrap right here? No. Okay, cool. Should be able to catch a bar boat sleeping this far in the red. Should be an easy 100% capture here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have two, three Pokemon on the team. Huh. <sighs> name him Rod because he looks like a lightning rod. Even though it's a girl. Rod can be a girl name. Alright, let's check out Barboach here. Barboach is hasty natured water ground. We know that. Static as well. Okay, so we're just going to be paralyzing everything. Mud slap, mud sport, and water sport. At least got mud slap, right? Um, TM12 for stomp. Not bad, I guess. Alright, let's go heal up, and then we'll start going through Mount Moon. Steelix would have been nice. We probably wouldn't have caught it, actually, though, so, you know, I'm happy that we didn't encounter this. Now, we have level 21 with Victory Bell. We're so over-leveled. I'm pretty sure Victory Bell's a high enough level to where we won't even have to use it in the next gym. And we won't even have to use it before the next gym. We're gonna have to get our Pokemon leveled up in the next episode. Like before next, I might have to do some grinding off screen because boy oh boy, we are down bad. Three Pokemon now though. We're back to three. These three, I'm gonna be honest. I'd rather have a Barboach than a um, Voltorb, and I'd rather have a Butterfree than a than a um, Beedrill. Now. I'm going to say it again. Don't give us a damn Pokemon with Arena Trap or Shadow Tag. Otherwise, I'm going to be real angry. Well, 14. Wow. It's got Drizzle. Nice. We know now. Now we know we're free to switch. Make sure we don't switch into Butterfree because that would be bad. I mean, it could go for like a ground type move. Horn Attic. Get some XP here for Barboach. He's probably gonna be our second best Pokemon for the next for the foreseeable future. It's already up to level eight. We're moving at the speed of sound. Level 22 for Levi. Who would have thought? I probably shouldn't have bought all those potions, huh? Not really necessary. Let's go down here first. I feel like the Pokemon down here are always better than the Pokemon up there. Bioplume, hey! What are the odds? Uh, we should be able to escape. If we wouldn't, and we would have just died to like a absorb, because we're quad weak to it, that would not have been fun. Let's just hope we don't get a Registeel sent out on our head, because that wouldn't be fun. A layer on. All right, once we get Barbo to like level twelve, it could actually fend for itself. That will be helpful at least. What if Static had the chance to like paralyze when you tackled someone or something like that, you know? That would be really cool. Oh, man. 
I was hoping that wouldn't happen. I don't think I carry any paralyzed heals with me. Need a Reno mail. Send Rod back out. I was just thinking Mount Moon was so hard to get through, but. You know, the more and more you play. What is. I don't know. Alright. Uh oh. Bro's getting pumped. Forgot. I still see, I always forget. This thing is pegged. Always forget. Alrighty. We're moving through slowly but surely. Being paralyzed definitely sucks. Of course we get paralyzed turn one. That was 70 XP, bro. What's the point of me even switch training? What level are these mons? Can can a barbo handle a teddy or so? We got mud slap, right? We outspeed a Teddy Ursa? Oh god, no. We get the accuracy drop. Oh, that boy missed. Yeah, okay, but we definitely cannot. Mud Slap just doesn't do enough damage. Not nearly enough. This is gonna take so long. Barboach. Trying to search up Barboach's learn set. Barboach gets a level 10? What? Word. Hopefully this item is decent enough to where we, like, it was worth coming down now. The Never Melt Ice. We're getting, we're gonna have, like, every, everything that, like, ever could be used for um upping typing moves like we already have the rock we already have the rock type boost the uh, psychic the bug and now the ice we already got four out of like the whatever there is in this game dun, 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 dun. they pokemon should give an electric type water guard make it unknockoutable I didn't even realize that if you have an electric type with Wander Guard, you just win. Did anyone else ever notice that? Do I have... Do I have... I don't think I have a paralysis... Paralysis cure... Cure... Potion. Furry. Level 11 Furry. I forgot this thing gets drought. That's so weird to me. Bing. Okay, we're gonna get this. We only got like a little bit longer, so we're probably gonna battle this. Go grab that item, and then we'll run back and heal up, and then we'll start the next episode tomorrow. Or probably won't be tomorrow. I'm uploading this four times a week, or maybe five times a week. I can't really remember. I think it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday is what I decided in my brain. So five times a week. So I don't know when this goes up. First episode goes up on Saturday, Sunday. So this goes up on Tuesday? Question mark, question mark. Is that correct? This is up on Tuesday. Let me like in the comment section down below. Present, hopefully this doesn't blow me back because present has a chance to do a lot of damage. It also has a chance to heal you like it just did. I feel like it'd be kind of cool if Drought also, like, healed you, right? Like, I mean, Drought also, like, increased Grass-type moves. Like, I feel like that would make sense. Can we not get paralyzed, please? Like, please? Thank you. Can we just not get paralyzed one more time? At least he's healing me back, right? Like, that's nice of him. Alright, Rod grows to level up where he gets water gun. So now we have a water type move that we can deal with fire types with. Dun, 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 dun. Super Repel. Well, 
I would use that right now because we have to get out of here, but we have speed up, so we don't really need to. So I could just speed up and get out of here, which we're going to go back. I'm probably going to do a little bit of grinding before the next episode, honestly. Like, nothing crazy, obviously. I'm probably just going to get Butterfree and Barboach up to, like, level like 15-ish. Somewhere around there. That way, they're, like, competent. You know? And I could actually use them because I lit literally have one Pokemon. Um, but I don't know. I'll figure it out in between episodes. Trust I'm not going to get over-leveled. Anyone other than Victory Bell. Alright, run here, heal up. And then the next episode will come in through Mount Moon and hopefully not die. So that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like below. Let us know that you guys are enjoying the series just as much as I am. Um, leave a like for my disparaging uh, gameplay here for how bad we are getting waxed. Um, be sure to answer the comment question of the day. It's down there in the bottom right of your screen. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Peace out.